everyone, welcome back. It's time for a weekly product update for Open House Pro. This week, we're super pumped to be talking about our new styles page in the portal. We've taken a long time to like really decide what is the best way to manage custom styles for a client, you know, for a Matterport service provider like yourself. If you're watching this, you're probably an MSP. You have different clients who have different businesses and those businesses have their own brands, colors, fonts, etc. And so with Open House Pro, we make it really easy to create custom sets of styles for each of your clients. Uh, and we just made some major updates and improvements to the portal where you can do that. I just logged into my Open House Pro account and we talked about this new sidebar last week, but um, I'll show you real fast again. This sidebar on the left is, is brand new and it makes it really easy to navigate the different features and um, areas of the portal. On the left side, what you'll do is you'll select your client. So if I wanna manage styles for a specific client, all your clients will be listed right here. So I'll click test client from this drop down right here. I'll go and click the styles and it will take me to our edit styles page. You can see that this left sidebar collapsed a little so it stays out of the way. And what I see now is my edit styles page. This space right here is, is basically just a space from that client account that allows you to preview the styles that um, you're gonna be messing with. So um, this is just one of the, the, the spaces that relates to this client account. What I wanna show you is on the right side, all the different options and things you have control over, okay? So if I click colors here, let me move this out of the way. That's fine right there. If I click colors here, you can see I have a primary color, secondary color, and accent colors. And as you mess around with this, you'll see what those colors relate to. Uh, we'll just do a quick one right here. Do primary color, we'll change this to like a dark red. And I'll click save and refresh. And you'll see that that changed my top bar, this button in the bottom right, and some other elements here. Um, so that is your, your primary colors. Now, next thing you can do is fonts. So you can change your custom fonts. So if I click on this matter tag right here, uh, you can see the font that's being employed in this tag. Well, I can change those fonts. Let's say I wanna use XO. I'll click save and refresh. And you can see this font up here in the top right changed. And if I click on this matter tag, you can see the font inside of this matter tag pop-up change as well. Very cool. Um, then you have some different options for branding. So for branding, you know, I can change just the client account name. Um, I can choose to hide open house brand branding if that's enabled on your account, if you're on our, our higher plan. And I can choose to show provider branding, which we can get into a little bit more uh, in a different video, but I'll, I'll choose to hide open house branding, save and refresh, and you can now see the open house logo is not in the corner up here, and it's not in the corner down here on the bottom. Um, so pretty cool there. I'll re-enable that. The top bar, lots of different options here. So the logo, we already have this test client logo up here. If I wanted to change that, I could choose that here. If I wanted that logo to, to click and go to a different link to a different page. I can add that logo link here. And then you can see I have different options for showing the top bar, using a hero logo and showing the space location. What I'll do is I'll switch these so you can see what we mean. So I'm gonna turn show space location off, turn show top bar off and click use hero logo, save and refresh. And you can see I have my hero logo up here. The location and name of the space is no longer visible and my top bar is gone. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, Next, we have our menu section. Um, I can click use a menu and I'll just save and refresh. You can see uh, that this menu now appears here. I can change my top button for the menu and I can also go through and add menu items. Pretty, pretty convenient to have it right here accessible. Tag icons, um, you can see right here, here's what just like the default icon for, for open house looks like a couple different settings you have here for tag icons. So using the matter tag distance filter, you notice how when I loaded this page, so if I step away here, the tag goes away. Okay. If I turn on, turn off, use matter tag distance filter, click save and refresh. You can see all of these tags now appear. Uh, and so we think it, you know, by default, it makes a lot of sense to just show the matter tags when you're close to them. But if you prefer to just have them av available at all times, you have that flexibility. And here, it looks like we haven't added any 
uh, default video or tag icons here, but um, this is where you can do that. So you can choose a stock icon. I can do diamond and change it to that color. And I think that will change uh, this icon right here. But, yep, okay. So you can now see that this default icon has been changed. You can do the same for your default video tag icons, your default product tag, default product group tag, and default featured product tag icon. What's important to note is that these default icons, they just apply for matter tags that were in the space, but weren't added via open house. And I hope that makes sense. But if you have questions about that, let us know. But if you were to go into this space and add custom tags from you know your open house portal, it actually will have different tag icons. It'll have whatever tag icon that tag type that you created has. But this is basically like a fallback. So any icon or any tags that just were in this space, but that you didn't necessarily add custom inside of open house uh, will use those default icons. You see, I have different control over buttons here. I can change my icon style. So I'll change this to light You can see now in the bottom right and up here up top, my icon styles are a little bit different. They're more lightweight. I can show Matterport tools. I can choose which buttons I want to show. Um, I have my different sidebar options. So this space doesn't have a sidebar, but if it did, um, I could choose whether or not I want to show related spaces in the sidebar and what I want uh, the related spaces heading to say. So if you wanted to show related spaces to the client account, but you wanted it to say something like explore our house of brands. We had one client that used that. You can do so here. Products, you have different options to customize the product pop-up. So this will allow you to show the product price, show the product SKU, change the text that's on the action button on the product pop-up, and whether or not you actually wanna use the cart functionality or if you just want to link out directly to the product pages. Video, only control you have over video right now is whether or not to autoplay it when it starts. We're gonna be adding more video control features here, but that's it for now. Same with cover, you can choose whether or not to use a cover. I'll show you what this looks like if I do use a cover. So now you can see, okay, um, if I chose use cover, it has this cool little uh, display thing that invites me to enter the experience. Tracking, uh, you can choose to ask a user for cookie consent. We have some clients uh, who require that. Uh, and then the last one is meta tags. The, the only one we support right now is the HTML title tag text. That's what you see up here in your browser tab. So um, that is the HTML title tag. You have control over that. So I'll you know, just do this Samsung one that was saved. It actually didn't change, but if I, if I was viewing this space on its own, not in the portal, this right here is what would appear up here in the browser tab, or if you were to like, you know, send that to someone. Um, that's basically it. You know, I think what's cool is you just have full control over what this space looks like for your client. Please let us know, feedback. We uh, can't wait for you to try it out. We are really pumped about how, how quick it is and, and how easy it is to, to change these styles on the fly. And uh, we can't wait to see if you agree. Thanks.